Hi, welcome back to the Newbury Sax School. My name is Simon Curry, and I'm going to show you how to play a killer lick. Now, before I show you the lick, I'm going to tell you about my members area just quickly. Uh, there's over 400 videos in there for beginners, improvisers, advanced. There's also group sessions. Don't forget to, to like this video and subscribe, please. Okay, here goes the hot lick. So it's based on the G blue scale for alto. I'll play the lick first for you. And it sounds. I'll do it again. Now this lick is really, really cool because you can use it in several different ways, which I'm about to show you. First, let me show you the notes. So you've got a F with a thumb on. So it's three and one there. And then you've got your G, which is three fingers. Then you've got your uh, B flat above that. These are all with your thumb on. I'm using the, the bisque key, the front B flat. And I'll show you there. There we go. Across the middle there. So the idea is you can keep that finger on the B flat button all the time and it only affects the B flat. Then back down to the G, three fingers. And then back to the F, three and one fingers. And then you've got your G, which is three fingers. Then you've got your uh, B flat above that. These are all with your thumb on. And then you've got your G, which is three fingers. Now I'm going to demonstrate it with the backing track and mix in other stuff that goes with it. And every time I play that lick, uh, you'll see it coming up on the video. And the other good thing that you can do with this lick is you can go down the octave as well. So it's exactly the same as a high octave, but take your thumb off. And then add your th octave thumb. Take your thumb off. Okay, here we go. This is me demonstrating the lick. Down the octave. Now the good thing about it is you can use it in any part of the beat. I'm going to mix it in with some other blues phrases. <laughs> 